Okay, uh, we're going to talk now about inventory. We have two efficiency ratios related to inventory. We have inventory days and inventory turns. Uh, to calculate the inventory days, the formula for inventory days is here. It's average inventory divided by cost of goods per day. And average inventory is simply the beginning inventory plus the ending inventory divided by two. And COGS per day in the denominator is just cost of goods sold divided by 360 days, 360 days. So inventory is frozen cash. And the sooner that inventory is sold, the faster it's turned into cash. But it's a balancing act. While too much inventory will tie up cash, too little inventory can result in lost sales because of stockouts. So many companies have little to no inventory, especially service and software-based companies. This ratio is important for companies with physical goods. So let's take a look at calculating inventory days for a company with inventory, such as Hasbro. Uh, this is the income statement and balance sheet for Hasbro. Um, and in the balance sheet, uh, I've included two years of balance sheet, 2018 and 2017. And uh, so we can see that inventory in 2017 was 433 million and inventory in 2018 was 443 million or plus $10 million. And at the same time, cost of goods in 2018 was 1.85 billion. So we can use these three numbers to plug into our formula. So the formula is beginning inventory plus ending divide by two, and we saw that was 433 million plus 443 million. We'll divide that through by two, and we get to an average inventory of 400 and $38 million. And in the, uh, in the denominator, we take the cost of goods sold in 2018 of 1.85 billion and divide that by 360 days to get to $5.14 million per day. So we divide uh, now uh, to get to our inventory days and we find that Hasbro has 85.3 days of inventory on hand. So in other words, it would take Hasbro 85 days to sell all the inventory that they currently have. So in general, uh, lower inventory days is considered better and more efficient, but the metric depends a great deal on the industry. And even within industries, we can see a wide range of acceptable days of inventory. So it's best to look at this metric um, as a change over time. Well, when we compare Hasbro uh, to its peers in the same business, um, we can see that their 85.3 days for Hasbro is toward the high end of the industry. Spin Master is the lowest at 51 days. Um, Hasbro is very similar to Lego at also at 85 days, and Mattel is pretty close at almost 76. And when we, on the right-hand side of the page, when we use horizontal analysis to compare the same metric over prior years, we can see that Hasbro's inventory uh, took a step up in terms of days of inventory on hand from roughly 72 or 73 days for the last two years to now 85 days. So another way to measure inventory is through inventory turns. And the formula for inventory turns is 360 divided by inventory days. And what we're effectively calculating here is the number of times per year that a company can sell all of its inventory on average. So using the Hasbro example then, uh, inventory turns is 360 divided by inventory days. We've just calculated inventory days at 85.3, so that will give us an inventory turn of 4.2. This means that Hasbro sells through all of their inventory a little more than four times a year. The higher the number of turns in general, the better. Um, as long as a company has enough inventory to meet consumer demand, the faster it can turn its inventory into cash, the better. Now, low margin companies like grocery stores need uh, high volumes and very fast turns in order to be profitable. And high margin companies like jewelry stores uh, can be profitable on lower turns. So let's take a look at how Hasbro stacks up with their peers in the same industry. So Hasbro is at 4.2. Uh, Lego is also at 4.2, Mattel's at 4.7, Spin Master is the outlier here at a very fast uh, 7.1 times uh, inventory turns in 2018. 
Uh, and one would question, maybe Spin Master is turning too fast and losing some sales due to stockouts. Um, we can look at Hasbro on the right-hand side, how they've uh, trended over time. And uh, in fact, uh, Hasbro's inventory turns have been closer to five for the last two years at 4.9 and five in 2016 and 17 respectively. Now they're at 4.2. So we might be a little bit concerned about building inventory amounts and we would take a closer look into that. In, uh, in many inventory heavy businesses, such as retail and manufacturing, um, and to be sure, including toy manufacturing, uh, inventory management is a critical driver of profitability. The difference in inventory turns can be the difference of success and failure, so it needs to be watched very carefully.